Well, hello and welcome to the TBS podcast. I'm Angela McClinton, and I'm here today with our president, Dr. Lynn Lewis. Good afternoon. Good to be here. Um, We're so glad you are here. We're going to talk about a seminar that's coming up called Boss Like God. But before we jump into that, Mm -hmm. Dr. Lewis, since you're our president, I'd love to ask you, tell me a little bit about TBS. Who are we and what do we do? Sure. Um, We're an educational institution. We're uh, training people for life, leadership, and legacy, and um, we do that in a lot of ways. We have classes, um, we have seminars, so we'll talk today about the seminar. And so our idea is that the Bible is a training manual for life, and then we're training leaders to, to train others, so then the legacy goes on. So we're, as we have our classes, we have seminars, we do productions, podcasts, things like that. We really want people to know the Scripture. We want people to know the Scripture better, know the Lord better, and be equipped and engaged to serve the Lord better over time. So we do things like the Boss Like God Seminar to do deep dives into Scripture and then talk about different topics. In this case, it would be leadership. Is it just for students? So the seminar is for anybody, and classes are actually for anybody too. But the way a class is, it's longer, it's more in-depth. Seminar is short, it's very targeted on a specific topic area, in this case, leadership. And in this class, we're, we're building a seminar into a class. So there are students that are taking the class over the long period of time, and then the seminar is a piece of that, and we invite anybody to come in and do that. And in, like in this seminar, this is a great seminar for leaders of any kind. That If you're leading a group, could be a family, but business or education or ministry or whatever, and so people come in and we'll talk about the different things and you know, parts of leadership that we're looking at, but it's targeted toward how do I lead and specifically what can I learn from Scripture about how to lead. And in this case, how can I boss like God? Um, in, the, in this particular seminar, we looked at the Old Testament from the perspective of God as an employer. And so years ago I did this and I was like, okay, I'm a leader, I have questions, you know, I'm reading all these leadership books, but you know what is God's perspective? So I looked at the Old Testament and considered if God was an employer, how did He do these things? And as an employer myself at the time, you know how do I do these different? How do I hire people? How do I manage people? What happens if things go wrong? How do I do transitions in leadership because people leave? You know, so how do you do those things? And we're, we're learning those things from the scriptures. So that's what the seminar does. Does a deep dive. So we're talking about this specific seminar, Mm -hmm. Boss Like God. Mm -hmm. It's in April, April 17th and 24th. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that I have two opportunities to come, or I come both days? Um, You would come both times, and we're actually going to have it live in class and live online, or people can actually watch it recorded online. But it's a great class for if you are a leader, or even if you want to be a leader, and it's actually good for people who aren't leaders, you know, to know what to expect of their leaders. Um, but what a lot of people do is they'll come, and so we're going to do it on a Wednesday from 9 to noon, which is our typical Wednesday class time, and we're breaking it into two parts because there's four sections to the seminar, so we'll do two parts the first Wednesday and two parts the next. And what a lot of people have done in the past is they'll come or, like, they'll bring their staff. So people use it for staff training and talk about, you know, they use it as a tool for to help improve their staff, how do they work. And so it's, it's been a great tool over the years for people to come and either do it independently or do it with a group, and it's a lot of fun. That's, I, I hadn't thought of that. What a great mm-hmm. opportunity to yeah. grow together. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned that there's four parts. Right. Will you just give us a little teaser sure. about each of the sections that you're going to be covering? Sure. Um, I'll give you an example. So in the beginning, um, like how did God find people? How did he hire them? Well, actually, he created his first employee, so Adam and Eve. So we look at that. But when he created them, what did he give them? You know, he gave them resources. He gave them a purpose. He gave them some boundaries. He gave them some limitations, consequences. So he built all that in. So those first couple of chapters in Genesis, we actually see God creating his own employees and then giving them these things that we can give our employees. Now, can we create our own, you know, like our own robot or whatever? Not really, but we can mold and shape people. 
And we have to give people a purpose. We need to give people, you know, understanding resources to do their job. We also need to draw the boundaries around there, and then there's consequences for things. So we look at that story, and you look at those parameters and go, wow, this is like a model for hiring people. So that's one case that we'll look at in, in hiring. Uh, managing, really, the whole thing of God managing people, he was a provider. So his whole thing that he did is he provided tons of different things. So you look at Adam and Eve, he provided a garden, things like that. Um, let's take Noah, for instance. He gave Noah animals. He gave Noah you know, resources for a boat. He gave him a family. Um, he gave Moses a contract. You know, he, so he gave Moses all these things. He provided or Noah all these different things. And we look at a number of cases in providing because there's like, in the book, there's like 15 things that leaders provide, you know, money, resources, a chair, a desk, a computer, people. So we talk about some of the different stories where God actually provided those things um, for his employees. Then the firing, um, one of the cases, of course, is um, Aaron's two sons who were literally fired my personal opinion is that's the first time the word comes into the lexicon. They get burned to a crisp because they did something wrong. Well, that's an extreme case. There's other times where God uh, disciplined people and they um, had to leave their job like Saul, for instance. He doesn't do what God wants him to do. Samuel anointed him. They have this whole back and forth. Samuel's upset because now they've got to fire this guy. And God's like, get over it and move on. But Saul ends up training his replacement. And so we talk about this fact that Saul got fired from his job, but he didn't leave his job yet. He still had a place in the organization to train his replacement, whether he knew it or not. So that was a case where you don't fire somebody and get rid of them immediately. They actually stay for a time because there's a purpose. So that's, that's an interesting case. And then in the transitions in leadership, we look at three. So one of them is a transition from Moses to Joshua. And literally they were training for decades. Joshua was training the entire time Moses is in the wilderness. They make that transition, and Moses does some very specific things to make the transition. He gives Joshua he, you know, a, a job. He brings him in on some decisions they're making and gives him responsibility. After Moses is gone, then you've got things to do. You know what to do. And then he tells everybody, you know, that this is your new leader, so respect him. And then after Moses is gone, then everybody comes back and says, okay, now we respect you. We've seen all this. So there's a clear overlap in that time period. It's not end to end. It's a long overlap where um, Moses is being specific in making that transition. So those are four examples of those different areas that we'll look at in the Boss Like God seminar. Well, I know all of our listeners and viewers are probably as excited as me to know more. Mm -hmm. Everything that you just said, I was like, I, tell me more. So that is the purpose of mm -hmm. having a seminar where we really yeah. get to dig in together. Yeah. So it's $99 a person. If you want to bring a group, it would be an awesome opportunity mm -hmm. for staff development, um, for cohesion in your staff, and then mm -hmm. to be able to perhaps go back and rewatch it at staff meetings, right. portions of it. That right. is a really great resource. Well, we are so excited about all of the seminars, and this one in particular, we have so many leaders um, in so many different realms, and so the Bible Seminary has the opportunity to resource all of our Christian leaders in this one really powerful way. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here with sure. us today, Dr. Lewis. Looking forward to the seminar. Be awesome. We are. We are really looking forward to seeing you there.